You guys already know where we're starting our day. Gotta eat. <laughs> Well, clutch is here. Oh wow, that's nice and fancy. Wow. Today's plan, as you guys saw, and obviously you guys would be keeping up to date. Well, yesterday's video, we yanked out and pretty much tore apart the whole RV and everything like that. We had to like lower the whole cross member to get the motor to lower. So we actually had room uh, because with the RB30, there's just, there is no room. Like <laughs> it sits taller. So everything is pushed lower it about two inches and then uh, tilt it back. And then we were able to slide the transmission off. So that was awesome. Now I'm going to go ahead and start working on getting our new one installed, which is real fancy. And then we got, we got everything right here. Oh my God. Whoa. This will hold the torque for sure. This is rated for a thousand foot pounds of torque. 1100 to be exact. So, I mean, I guess, let's just, I guess we'll just start popping this thing in the car, right? We have a new pilot bearing, like a little sandwich bag, literally. <laughs> the bolts. And to be honest, I don't really know how this goes together. So we'll kind of just start taking things apart and uh, <laughs> we'll try to figure it out as we go. Right, hang on a second. Oh! All right, so this must come out like so, and we have our second plate, which goes like that, and then we have our throw-out bearing, and then our pressure plate, and then we also have a flywheel, which is awesome. So I just went ahead and <laughs> destroyed our, our pilot bearing to get it out. So the way I did it, I just I just basically shoved like, a, shoved like a flathead on the outer rim and just started hammering it in, um, and then from there I was able to kind of bend it inwards, and voila, here we are. So obviously we have our fresh new one that I'm gonna go ahead and install um, be so when we put in our new one if I can get her here uh, essentially just want to go ahead and uh, do it very very carefully uh, kind of get it set up nice and flush even with the uh, the crankshaft and uh, go ahead and give it a couple taps with a hammer and then find a socket that is exactly the same size as this that will go f you know nicely around it and be careful because these are kind of brittle all right so we're gonna use a 14 as you guys can see the 14 is pretty much the same width as the pilot bearing. So this is what we're going to use as like a little guide and um, I'll show you guys what it looks like when we're installed. All right, so there you guys have it. She's flush. You don't have to get it all the way in there. Just get it nice and in. All right, guys, next up we're going to go ahead and install this uh, flywheel. It's pretty awesome. It comes with the kit. So we'll go ahead and install it and then we'll go ahead and clean it afterwards. It comes with hardware. So I'll try and get you guys set up under here as, as hard as it may be. <laughs> I'll, just, I'll see what I can do. All right, this is probably not the best angle for you guys, but this is it's pretty much all we got right now. So, obviously make sure you got your dust shield in place, and then go in here, and just slide her on. It'll kind of get sucked in as you, as you tighten up. Oh yeah, make sure to use Loctite too. Alright guys, so next thing after you got those like, you know, in there, obviously we still have to torque them down. So to do that, it's not as easy as you think. This is going to spin, obviously, because this is connected to the crankshaft of the engine. Now it's going to spin. So this is what we got going on here. I got my super long screwdriver. You can kind of wedge anything that you guys can figure out. It's going to be all depending on your situation, how your car is jacked up, whatever. Um, you guys, I'm sure if you guys are doing your own clutch, I'm sure you guys can figure it out yourself also. So as you guys can see, I got my, my long screwdriver wedged up in the tooth, and then that means we can go ahead and give those the jammy. Alright, so that uh, screwdriver trick didn't work because I just started lifting the motor up because it's not really mounted. So here's what I did. I got a wrench. I put one of the pressure plate or the yeah the pressure plate bolts in to the flywheel. And then I got the bolt from the transmission up in the how like the the uh, actual block. So that kind of acts as like a little stopper and uh, that works pretty well. All right, so uh, probably like an hour or so has passed. I actually had to take out the first pilot bearing because for whatever reason, the alignment tool wouldn't fit into it. So uh, I put in another one and this one fits in good. This one's fine. So not too sure what happened with the one that came with the clutch kit or whatever. 
Um, but this one, she's in. Super nice and it fits. That was way harder than it looks to get three plates all aligned at once. We got it though. Time for the big boy. Okay, so now this is gonna be the tricky part. Now we gotta line this other plate. Get one started. We're gonna put some Loctite on these, but at least just to just to hold her here for now. Check that out. Woo, fancy. All right, after heaving this behemoth of a transmission on the jack, uh, I got it pretty much in a spot to where I think we can go ahead and just raise it, and hopefully, man, I really just, fingers crossed, this just slides right in, because uh, this sucker is heavy. This is not like a standard KA trans, oh no. Alright guys, so multiple hours I'm sure have passed, at least two. Um, one thing I didn't really plan on for this trip is wrenching this much. I've pretty much ruined all of my clothes that I've brought with me, so not too stoked about that one. Okay, so I've learned a lot about these twin disc clutch plates. I've never installed a twin disc and um, I've definitely, I've installed, in, I've installed a twin disc about three times now. <laughs> <laughs> and I never had before today. So I put it on the first time, uh, realized that the the pucks were actually like, they were offset, but then I was, then we we're thinking about it, if they're balanced, then maybe it wouldn't really make a difference if they're either like evenly matched or evenly spaced out. And you actually can't even get them evenly matched or evenly spaced out. The, um, the splines are different on each plate. So that had me like messed up for a second. I mean, it's in, it's in there. I haven't, I, 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 I had the, like, because I was putting the transmission on, I think it was the last time you guys saw me. Sorry about, there's probably a breeze. Um, but as you guys can see, it's in there, uh, like it should be now. And uh, the transmission still has yet to be put in. I had to essentially take it out after muscling to get it where it was. So, good time. Brad should be here soon, so that should definitely give me a hand. and help me out as far as getting the motor into or the, the transmission bolted back up because that thing is a pain and it is huge so I was close that first time but luckily I didn't put it all the way together because I was looking at the discs but then in the end it turns out that maybe that wasn't even an issue so oh dear I've, I've ruined my shoes and there's grease everywhere and first off I didn't really expect to I thought this trip to Kentucky this 10 day trip here would be like a chilled out vacation but no, here we are, ripping trannies out, pulling clutches. You know, we're just living the dream out here. All right, well, it's many, many hours have passed. Uh, well into the evening. We still out here. Uh, that is Brad. Those are Brad's legs down there. there. Yes, that's he's out here as well. We just got the transmission bolted up, finally. Like, literally, I've been out here doing this all damn day. Granted, I reinstalled that clutch like four times, so... But we're learning. We've learned. We've learned a lot of things. I now know how to install a double plate clutch properly. Because I think we were trying to maybe, hopefully, possibly get it maybe on the dyno again tomorrow. We'll kind of see. But it says in the instructions to break in for 500 miles. So I don't think we're going to do that. Um, so uh, I'm sure we'll be I'm sure we'll be okay. Just wanted to update you guys because it's been a while. Uh, we're finalizing stuff down underneath the car. Uh, and then we basically had to hook everything all back up again, exhaust, piping, turbo, housing, fuel line, all that fun stuff, radiator, fill all that up, fill with oil, and oh boy, and then we gotta do the, di oh Jesus, okay, so we out here, we're, I'm gonna get back to work. Also, I gotta mention, because there seems to be some confusion uh, in yesterday's video, for whatever reason, I don't know if I said it, or someone may have said it, that you guys saw that it had a stock clutch in here. It definitely did not have a stock clutch. If it had a stock clutch, we'd be, whew, she'd be on fire. Um, so, yeah, and stock clutches aren't six buck. I mean, that's kind of, but hey, some of you guys may not know. That's totally cool. But yeah, just a heads up, that was a, what we thought was a stage three south bend clutch, but apparently it turns out it may be a stage two. I don't know. Um, we sent it in today to, for warranty. I don't know what's happening, but um, we got, we got a clutch that's capable of, of 1,100 foot-pounds of torque, so I think we should be all right there. Man, I just wanna go fast. On my teeth and on my all right, well, it is now 12.30. Uh, we have finally got it all complete. Uh, everything but, the only thing I have to do 
Uh, to I guess at least mess with this current situation is fill the diff up. I am going to go ahead and check the head studs to make sure that we're still torqued um, to where they should be. Can't hurt to do that. We're also going to do a vacuum leak test to make sure there's no vacuum leaks because unfortunately the car is kind of acting as if there was a vacuum leak. Fingers crossed there isn't, but we're going to go ahead and do one anyway. And then tomorrow we'll go ahead and start getting some miles in this thing. I think there's one more thing that I need. Brad, is there anything else I needed to do? I think that was it, right? I think that's about it. So, unless something else pops up, which who knows. The Sage 3 or whatever we thought we had was rated for 735 foot-pounds or something like that. So, technically speaking, I don't know. They probably underrate clutches as far as how much they can, you know, support or whatever. But technically it should have worked. But, I mean, with the power that this thing is going to be making and, and just for longevity... Twin disc is definitely the way to go. So actually, I did forget something. Um, right here, check this out. I don't know if I'll be able to show you guys much, but this is uh, these are R35 GTR coil packs with uh, really nice SuperTech uh, billet brackets. So we'll probably dive into those also tomorrow because currently we got Spitfires, and I think those like crap out around 20 or so PS, or like 20, 25, somewhere around there. I don't know, I've heard different things about them. Factory coil packs crap out at like 14, no, 17. And then after that, Spitfires, they're, they're good, but I don't know how well they'll do once we're making, you know, 30 pounds of boost or whatever. So right now, just if you guys are curious, uh, with, the, with, the, with the clutch, uh, the throw in the clutch pedal apparently wasn't, like, it, it would still kind of grab the wheel, even with the clutch out. So it wouldn't fully disengage or engage. Would it, fully, would it not engage or fully disengage, Brad? Wouldn't fully disengage. Wouldn't fully disengage. So we actually messed with the uh, the actual linkage under there and uh, got rid of some, some play up top and actually made it so it throw further at the slave cylinder. So I think I think we got it. It's, it's acting really, really good. Right now we're messing with the brake pedal because it's super, super sketchy. It's like an auto pedal that's like two inches above the gas pedal and about an inch or so over in the wrong direction so we're just we out here it's like 12 30 we shouldn't be out here right now but we are so oh she's pissed she did not like that oh oh there she is A bit of z life yeah sure why not Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Dude, it is late, man. I... All right, kids, handbrake. And we'll leave it in gear. <laughs> That's funny. All right, don't roll away. <laughs> All right, this has like become like our typical outro now, right? In the damn hotel room. <laughs> uh, first off, we got a couple of shout outs. Uh, by the way, I just took a shower. I'm not sweating. Don't worry. I'm, I just had to shower. <laughs> this, the, the unfortunate part, this trip consists, consi is, it has consisted of way more wrenching than I have anticipated. I did not pack any clothes that I can just ruin. However, I have ruined pretty much every shirt that I've worn. And my shoes. My shoes? Ruined. Tomorrow we'll go ahead and start putting some miles on it. However, we do have a few more things we have to do before that. And um, hopefully all issues with the clutch are good. We'll put some braking miles on it and uh, we should... Who is texting me right now? And uh, we should... It's like one... It is two in the morning. Oh my god. I still gotta edit. Well, yeah. So, uh, first off, we got some shout outs. Like I said, Rich, Steve, Legendary. Rich, sorry, not, 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 you, not Rich, the owner of the car, but... Rich, you're a legend. But yeah, Rich and Steve, shout out. Follow their Instagram now. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. They've been helping out big time. Brad's brothers. Thank you guys. Uh, hopefully we'll be able to get the car maybe on the dyno tomorrow night. So look forward to that. Round two. <laughs> subscribe. I mean, subscribe. You know, subscribe. Oh, wait. 
I'm getting rowdy over here. Subscribe, uh, Snapchat, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, all down below, guys. Go ahead and follow me. Uh, not many stickers left. There's like five or six stickers left. So go ahead and grab one. And um, yeah. All right, guys. I'll see you guys later. Peace.